And good morning, guys. It's the weekend. And what's the weekend without pancakes? Um, we're going to make the Russian pancakes. They're not going to look extremely fluffy, uh, but they're going to be kind of thin um, and really delicious, actually. <laughs> so what do we really need? We only have what, five ingredients, some eggs, some gluten-free flour, dairy-free yogurts, agave, and cinnamon. Uh, for the three yogurts, I use three eggs, so one-to-one -one ratio between yogurts, if you want to know by um, uh, oh, yogurts and eggs, and if you want to know by proportions, uh, each container is 150 grams, so 450 grams, three eggs. Uh, the rest is just enough to make uh, the batter, meaning uh, for flour, and the agave and the cinnamon, that's just to taste. Let's get started. Okay, so I put my three yogurts uh, into the bowl and I cracked three eggs. Uh, it doesn't matter which flavor yogurt you use. I currently had uh, strawberry, blueberry, and vanilla. So I'm just gonna uh, whisk that all together. Uh, for this recipe, it doesn't matter uh, the order of the ingredients. It doesn't matter if you you know, use wet, dry. Uh, the only reason I use flour later is because I want to see how much flour I'll actually need to form the pancake batter. So it's basically super duper simple. Put in the yogurt, put in the eggs, uh, whisk it all together, flavor with agave. As much or as little as you need, it's up to you. Uh, then you flavor with cinnamon or anything else that you may have. You can use vanilla. Um, sometimes you have almond extract. You can use that. Whisk this all together. And then just add the flour. This is very similar to my waffle recipe. Uh, if you didn't see the video, please give it a go. We're gonna mix everything together. Don't worry if they're clumps as of this point. They're gonna get diluted once we put the flour in. Again, keeping this gluten-free, dairy-free. Okay, time to add the flour. I'll add it a little bit. Just eyeball it, uh, go slow, add a little bit, whisk it in, see if the batter is the consistency that you like. And if it is, then you're done. If not, add a little bit more. Uh, if you added too much flour, you can always uh, dilute it a tiny bit with milk. We use almond milk in case I made that mistake. But again, in cooking, there's no mistakes. You can always fix anything that you're making. Okay, I'm going to continue doing this. And then we're going to fry them. Okay, so this is pretty much the consistency that it has to be to fry well. We're gonna heat up the pan. Okay, my pan is ready to go. I'm gonna scoop up the batter. Okay. Okay, keep on going. You don't have to leave much space between them. I didn't add any baking powder or baking soda, so they're not gonna raise much. They're gonna stay as they are. Wait a few minutes to flip. Okay, I think they're ready to flip. You can test their readiness on the sides. Flip them, they look delicious. Ooh. I'm gonna continue doing so and show you the final product. Okay, this is the full plate. Yum, yum, yum. Till next time. Alrighty, um, so today I made my juice in the morning and uh, this time I decided to follow uh, my mom's recommendation of keeping the dried or, or juiced out portion of the carrots. Um, you know, it oftentimes goes to waste when we make juice, but this time I decided not to put anything in it just to make uh, carrot juice separately and kept this portion. 
So we're gonna make carrot pancakes or fritters or whatever you wanna call them. I have here my almond milk, I have eggs, I have oats, uh, salt, onion powder, pepper. So if I don't have a flour that I would like to use and I have any grains, I blend it. So first we're gonna blend the oats to make oat flour. Detach it, portion it off, and add it in here. Okay, so uh, we put in three eggs. Uh, we're, we sprinkled a little bit of pepper. We're gonna put a little bit of onion powder. And you can make these sweet as well. You just substitute like some sugar or agave and, or brown sugar. All right, so we're gonna pour in the milk. You wanna hold my hand? Mm -hmm. Oh, help me out here. Help me out. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Woo Put a half a cup. Okay, so this is the mixed uh, version for now. So we're going to add some flour and see if it's enough. If not, we'll add a little bit more. Okay, go ahead. Just slowly. Mm -hmm. Good job. Over, over, over. Nice. Okay, let's <laughs> okay so we mixed it up and um, I decided to use a half a cup of this flour now uh, in addition to the regular oil because I'm I just don't think it's gonna uh, come together and stay and stick okay spill it over good job oh now that should be good okay let Oops. me mix it up and show you if it's uh, if it's good okay so this looks about right all right I have an oiled preheated pan let's try if this will fry up as a little pancake. Moment of truth. Flippable. All right. Okay, I'll continue frying them, show you the end result. All right, what can I say? I think it's a win-win. We made a whole side dish out of it. If you're trying to substitute or stay away from meat or cut down on meat, uh, it's a good vegetable alternative. So the last thing we gotta do is to taste them. Good morning. The ingredient for today is buckwheat. And this is another one of those simple recipes with kind of one ingredient. Uh, this was an idea given to me by my aunt. Uh, basically the ingredient was buckwheat and additional water. Uh, that's all you had to do and it creates a nice buckwheat pancakes or buckwheat fritters. Uh, but as with everything, I try to add some, some things of my own to it. So I'm going to be adding today a little bit of coconut oil to the batter, a little bit of onion powder, some salt, and some dill weed. But in reality, if this would be medicine, this would be the ingredient, and this would be the bunch categorized as the other ingredient. So technically, we can still say that it's a one ingredient recipe. The, for this particular recipe, it has to be the, um, the greenish type of buckwheat, not the one that has the you know, the shell over it. So we just take it, put it into our blender and make flour out of it. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, in here we have the entire package or whatever was left of the package, I think was a half of it. I like to keep uh, different flours on hand in case recipes come up, so I don't have to do it that minute. Uh, so if I don't use something for the pancakes, I'm gonna use it in other recipes. Uh, for one, I definitely know that there are recipes that include buckwheat flour in 
uh, just, you know, regular sweet pancakes. There's also recipes uh, for buckwheat noodles. So here we go. Let the blending begin. <laughs> Okay, seven seconds is all it took to create this fine, fine flour. I'm gonna use a cup of this. To this, I'm gonna add some onion powder, some salt, some dill. some water to mix this into a batter. A little bit at a time. Mix and see how it incorporates. I need a little bit more. Okay, seems to be that it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I added an entire cup, but definitely uh, add slowly just to see how your mixture comes out. Okay, I'm gonna continue mixing and then add in uh, about a, probably two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Okay, coconut oil in. Okay, batter is perfect. All we gotta do is fry it up probably not even gonna have to use oil on the pan because we have oil inside. Okay, let's fry them up. Okay, my pan is preheating. I'm gonna add a little bit of the mixture. Not too big. Okay, a few minutes on each side. Okay, you're gonna see around the edge, it's gonna start darkening a little bit. I'll be able to flip them. They're nice. Alrighty, we're gonna remove them from the pan. Um, you can eat them as a snack. You can also use it instead of bread. To substitute for the uh, extra carbs this is really nothing but the grain it's just the grain and the water and some uh, flavoring continue frying them up and i'll show you the final result all right this looks amazing we got a whole plate full savory buckwheat pancakes Okay, um, this recipe is going to begin in the same way that our carrot zucchini saute began. Uh, only here we are taking away the salsa. We're going to shred the zucchinis and carrots, transform them into blue chicken. Alrighty, so this is how the shreds look on the small attachment. Uh, so we have the zucchini, we have the carrots, we have three eggs, salted, peppered, uh, my usual dill and parsley. We've got the pan going. It's preheating. I'm gonna mix it right up. Um, sometimes uh, we have to drain the liquids because the, the zucchini gets uh, it releases moisture. And I sometimes do it, sometimes don't. Uh, and I'm also gonna add the matzo meal to this. Okay, so this is how it looks mixed. I just take a spoonful, put it on the pan. Flatten it out a little bit. Repeat. See if you have the liquids running here, you can spill it out afterwards. It's going to, uh, you know, collect at the bottom. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna have a minute, so let's try to flip. Oh, okay. It's hiding on. Okay, I'm gonna come in and fold them again probably before I save them all. Continue doing that and show you the final. Uh, this is the liquid that's remaining. Obviously, uh, like I said, you could always drain it ahead of time. I was just like scooping stuff up here and, and putting it out. I sometimes skip certain steps. Uh, not that it's the proper way, but just, you know, to save some time. Um, and this is what we got. Okay, so it's morning time. This is how it looks. Yeah. I don't know if it soaked up all the liquid as it should have, but let's see. Let's take a spoonful and put it on a plate. Interesting. Definitely tastes healthy. Probably needs a little more sweetener. Okay, guys. So my attempt at overnight oats was a bit of a fail. I mean, it was good enough to taste, but not good enough to eat. So we decided to transform it into pancakes of some sort. Some oat creation. I don't know. So basically, I transferred all the oats from the containers to a big bowl. Added three eggs, a little more agave, and... Um, some of my one-to-one -one baking flour. I'm gonna mix it all up, try to fry them, and see if it works. Okay, this may actually work. Overnight oat pancakes. <laughs> okay, so those two are good. Basically laid it out, scoop of this. Into a pancake. Alrighty, uh, last two are frying up. And this is what we have here. Kids already managed to try some. This one's a win. <laughs>